first you can go to menu and settings on your phone and scroll down to about phone okay, and you should have model number R800X for this to work and then Android version 2.3.4 you go back to applications be sure that you've clicked USB debugging Next, you can follow the links in the video description and download the firmware. And then you can download Flash Tool. And finally, you download Super One Click. Okay, once they've finished downloading, you can run the Flash Tool EXE. <clears throat> Just follow the on screen instructions. Then, once it's finished, you can extract the firmware with WinRAR, which you can also download from the video description. Next, you can go to My Computer and the C drive, and there should be a Flash Tool folder. You can go to the Firmwares folder, and then copy the firmware into that folder. It should be an FTF file. Next, you can run the Flash Tool drivers exe and install the drivers for your phone. and just follow the on-screen instructions. Right, and then when it's done, go back to the Flash Tool folder and run the Flash Tool EXE, the actual app. Then click the lightning bolt and then go into Flash mode. Then select the R800X from Verizon. Be sure not to wipe your uh, data. Uncheck that box. Okay, and then follow the instructions to unplug your device and then shut off your device. Then hold the back button while you reconnect your device. And then it should start uh, flashing your phone automatically and this will take a while so I've sped up the video clip. Alright, once it's done you can right click and extract Super One Click with WinRAR. You can open the folder and run the exe. And be sure to select the auto exploit and then just click root. And this will take a while, so I also sped this up, this video clip. So. Alright, and then when it's done, you can Test it if you like. So, and it says your device has been rooted. And then back on your phone, you can go to apps and you should be able to go down and find super user. 
Next, you can go to Menu and then Settings. Go down to About Phone. And you should now have a Android version 2.3.3. You can update to 2.3.4, and you will keep your uh, super user permission. Next, you can go to Google Play and download the uh, Wi Fi Tether for root users. Open it once it's finished installing. And you can simply press the screen to start tethering. You will have to allow the super user permission the first time you run it. And you can now connect other devices via Wi-Fi to your phone. You can go to settings, you can change the SSID or a password or any of the other settings. So. Alright, so there you go. Enjoy your rooted Sony Xperia Play. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. You can also check me out on my 